Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. So, today we are starting a new series. This last week, campaign mode was added, and we are going to be doing it. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. So, uh, let's go ahead. This is the British campaign. Let's rule the waves. You will take the role of a British naval commander. Your order is to protect England and become a legendary naval hero for centuries to come. Yes, yes, we are. For generations, my family has sailed the seas. Since before my grandfather's time, it has been our destiny. And now, it is mine. One day, I went sailing and found that my old boat had sprung a small leak. Beginning of the game. So, uh, if you... Take a look at the lower right corner, there is a pop-up for each of the options. So, lower repair cost, lower upgrade cost, or higher success chance when sending ships into side missions. We're going to repair the hole with driftwood. The hole with driftwood I found nearby. At 12, my uncle made me an apprentice aboard his ship. Standing between land and sea, I felt like a man for the first time. Anticipating a life on the open sea, I dreamed of battle and glory on the horizons. But life is difficult in the Royal Navy, far removed from dreams of glory. Remembering my father's lessons, I worked hard to impress the crew. In time, I was made a midshipman, beginning new responsibilities. Let's see, our options are better crew training, uh, crew, heal crew healing, or crew recruiting. We're going to uh, do a healing. In battle, I bravely carried wounded crewmen to the ship's doctor while under fire. We were forged together in the crucible of battle. For gallantry, I was recommended for promotion to the rank of lieutenant, but first, I must pass the lieutenant's exam. I was summoned before a board of captains. After a lengthy examination, they asked me what I thought the Navy's greatest strength was. Let's see. The officers, cheaper. Officers, more technology. Uh, or reputation. We're going to do reputation. Reputation, I responded. Other nations fear us, and we can use this to our advantage. They nodded their heads in assent, then asked me for my appraisal of the Navy's current strategic situation. Uh, let's see. Ah, that's difficulty. We're gonna just our do fleet dig is normal. But our enemies are always looking for an advantage to use against us. An old, grey-haired captain asked me about my skill in the organization of amphibious operations. And we're going to do a uh, medium read many difficulty. Books about tactics and strategy, and I am confident in my ability to command. The board applauded my answers and took a moment to reach their consensus. Congratulations, sir, they said. You have just made lieutenant. Awesome. So, uh, these are all our, these are the bonuses you can get. We have point here, here, here. We'll take a look at them, uh, at some point. But uh, let's begin. We're going to be Horatio Nelson because Nelson. So some of these battles you will see I have done before just as a heads up. But I mean it's going to be completely different now since we have control of our own our uh, quote unquote army and navy and such. Well fleet. Let's use the term fleet. So there's going to be some differences. Anyways. Spain got the mouth of the San Juan River with a strategically placed fortification under the command of Captain General of Guatemala. Securing the entrance to the river opens the route to Lake Nicaragua and will bring all these rich lands under the authority of Britain and His Majesty King George III. A frontal attack seems suicidal, but it seems we have no other option available. You will have to secure the fishing village and then march uphill. Seize the forts and disable its coastal batteries. The Spaniards will do their best to cancel your plans, so you need to act swiftly and fast. Be aware of the enemy coastal guns. They can obliterate your assault troops. 
Spain has naval patrols in the area. Our ship has been intercepted by the Corvette, Galga and Mercedes. Their opening voice raked the bridge. The captain is badly wounded and the first lieutenant is missing. The situation is grim. Our troop ship followed behind. They will avoid the naval battle and wait for its resolution. Without our protection they will become easy prizes for the Spaniards. H. Mercedes, a light armed fridge, brig, not a fridge, has sailed up to join us in the fight. The crew is desperate for a leader who can bring the ship through its trial by fire. You have no choice but to take command. Let's go. So I have a plan for this. We are going to uh, capture these ships. Since of course that matters now in uh, the... T t in uh, This matters now since this is actual campaign. So we can capture ships and put them in our fleet. And things like that. So that is exactly what we are going to do. We are going to try and capture the Mercedes and the Galga. Hopefully we can capture both of them. The Mercedes will focus on the Mercedes. The Richmond will focus on the Galga. And uh, we will see what we can do. Or I guess maybe both will focus on the Galga since uh, Mercedes since the Galga is kind of far away. Uh, raise the sails a bit. So th this battle we didn't do too long ago. This is uh, Acton Captain. We did that uh, a couple of weeks ago, I believe. I mean, it's not close but it's not long ago you know don't hit the hole we want to capture the Mercedes and the Galga but we want to capture these both the ships so that we can use them in our fleet focus the masts raise the sails a bit to uh, reduce the heel don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Ah, too late, bollocks. Doesn't help that I pressed the wrong, the wrong button. I am not uh, the smartest uh, tool in the box this time. Oh well, we'll reload the guns. Shoot at the Mercedes. What kind of guns does the Richmond have? 12 pounders? Yeah. That's pretty alright. Come on. Hit hit a mast. Ah, you hit a mast. Hitting a mast is something. I wonder where they're going though. Come on, load the guns. Here we go. Shame, no uh, mast hits. Uh, let's see, we're going to head that direction. Raise the sails a bit, can we? Can we get some shots on the Galga? Uh, sail full speed ahead. Keep on focusing the Mercedes actually. I want to try to demast the Mercedes. At least the main mast. Preferably all the masts. Ah, a couple of bounces. And with him demastered, the uh, Sears can just stern camp in and get rid of the crew. And then the Richmond can deal with the Galaga. That's my goal. Uh, let's raise the sails a bit more. I'm 
more bounces. I hope that mount bounces to uh, to mass still does some. Ooh, ooh. Oh, please don't tell me it was this guy's mass that I hit. A critical hit, nice, 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 nice. You are not doing too well in morale. I mean, I wouldn't mind him if he struck his colors as well. Ooh, the Cetus is not doing too healthy. Let's just keep him a bit out of the way for now. Oops, uh, wrong button. Ooh, another couple of uh, mass hits. Uh, let's go for attack. Let's have you go for the jibe. Hopefully you can get within range. Get a few shots off. That's not. Let's not get that close. I wouldn't mind getting a few shots off at the Galga, though. Even though that isn't my main target. A single broadside into the Gaga wouldn't wouldn't hurt. Let's have you turn around again. This is less than ideal for the Cetus. But oh well. Come on. Load the guns, turn a little so that I can get the broadside off into the masts. Come on, Cetus, get out of there. These guys are really hurting the service. Come on, hit the mast, hit the mast. Uh, let's have the service tack again. I am not comfortable where, with where the Mercedes is going. It's a bit too close to the fort. Where the Galga is going on that hand. That seems a bit more opportunistic for me to uh, do some damage. Like if he gets stuck in the river mouth. Well, he'll get stuck there and I can do a lot of damage to him. Oh, it seems he's uh, smarter than that. Come on. He's low in morale. Okay, let's sail a bit more close hold. Load the guns. Faster with the... Faster with it. He's in perfect position to get demastered. Well, I'm afraid that he's just outside of range. Basically. Uh, let's have the Cetus just uh, do his thing. I 
Let's sell the series a bit that way. Ah, the Dorset, the Plymouth, and the Sandwich. We, we meet you again. Uh, let's speed it up a bit. It would be nice if we could lead them away from the landing area. Let's see. Let's go for a turn. Uh, let's actually head more this way. We are going to do something similar with the Richmond. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hopefully we can lead the, both of uh, the ships away from the, f from, uh, the landing area. Okay, rigging shot. Good, good, good. Come on, load quicker, quicker. Okay, and let's uh, set sail full speed ahead. Um, you need to go more like this. And let's speed things up a little. Let's hope they don't get tempted by... Uh, by these two ships. Uh, three ships. Let's go for attack. Maybe sailing this way will help convince them a bit about my uh, my plan of direction. It doesn't feel like they're too interested, to be honest. Oops, wrong button. Okay, let's see. Let's just sail these guys through there. We will just have to do this a bit differently. Uh, half speed is not what we want. The Mercedes seems to be very immobile right now. That was a bit lo a bit lower than I would like. We're going to send the Mercedes to hopeful or uh, the Ceres to hopefully harass the Mercedes. And hopefully the Richmond can do the deal with the Galga. Hopefully I won't be within range of the uh, 
the naval bat or the the batteries, the coastal batteries. But my fear is that I will be. Let's see more that direction. Yeah, sure. Let's slow down. Stop turning. You slow down a bit too much. Hey, missing mast. Big blow to morale. If I can get like another one and then uh, and then go for boarding, that would also be great. Bounce. Uh, let's see. Tell you more this way. Let's order you to shoot the uh, shoot the rigging. Uh, the Mercedes is in shallow water. To be honest, I want to know what the Mercedes is doing because it doesn't seem to be doing the smartest thing right now. Oh, we are being hit by the coastal battery. Are we? No, we're not. Are we? I'm actually not sure. Ooh, even better. So let's just uh, park here. Let's keep you two sailing this way. Let's have you sail this way. Oh no, we're being hit by... Uh, By the Mercedes. So let's swap roles with the Richmond. We don't want to lose the Ceres. Under any circumstance. And I'll be honest, it ain't looking too pretty right now. Low morale. Let's see, let's tell you over here. Okay, uh, cool, cool, cool. Get those men out into the field of battle. You do the same. Come on, keep on rolling. Okay, let's see. We can uh, start the offensive already. Okay, you go for attack. This is not going anywhere near I had imagined it originally. Um, yeah, let's 
see. I need these two to attack the, the cannon. I want to capture those. Let's have these to go over here. Uh, you are using anchor. Let's have you attack. Let's have you sail forward. Let's lower. Come on, attack the. The thing, yes. It's a few sail full speed. Um, let's just leave him to deal and leave the and deal with the Mercedes. Come on, get the bloody cannon. Uh, let's lower the speed. Let's get a small crew here. This crew will uh, take the Galga. Okay. Good, you have captured this. You go take the cannon. Uh, don't set sail. Uh, shoot ball. Okay, let's have you start marching up. You do the same. Place you there. Oh. No, 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 no. No, don't charge, don't charge. Uh, turn off running. Just charge them because situation has changed. Um... Okay, you just do this. Let's get him on one of the boats. Uh, actually, let's have you go up there. You march over there. Of oh, fire? Why are you shooting the wrong thing? Uh, don't run. Sandwich, turn around. I just want to get the sandwich. <sighs> Come on, take the cannon and move up there. Excellent. Okay, now let's sail in closer. Let's sail in closer to uh, board her. 
Uh, let's send him to the Galga. Worst case scenario, they can help. Uh... Uh, fight off any flooding we might have. Actually, we should send them to the Ceres. Uh, you're not running. There we go. Uh, drop anchor. Uh, let's just keep the anchor dropped. Let's have you still ahead there. Let's have you march up. Excellent. Let's have you just cut there. You, you capture uh, this vessel. Excellent. Let's uh, anchor down. Let's get these guys with the troops out. Excellent. I love how these captured guys are quite loyal. Like, they're not trying to run away or anything. I have to say, respect. Also, let's just charge those buggers. Okay, they're routing. I don't have anyone on run. No, excellent. You have quite a ways to go. Just keep on getting rid of the militia de San Juan town. And we're going to continue working on our uh, garrison, uh, garrison attack. Are you gonna fire? Come on, fire. Come on, shoot. Shoot. There we go. Excellent. Did these guys get killed? Okay, so you are standing still. Uh, let's drop anchor on these two guys as well. Let's get close enough to uh, fire on them. Very good. Okay, I guess these guys can also join. Ooh, beautiful shot. Okay, let's uh, move up. Let's move this guy over here. We will move those two over there. None of these ships are at risk of sinking. Let me see. Can I? Ah, excellent. Ah. Oh, well. No, that won't do it. Disappointing. Oh, well. We want to have a screenshot with, without those... Uh, On top. But oh well. It is what it is. I will figure something out for the thumbnail screenshot. Oh 
up with something cool and unique. Come on, attack this guy. Low on ammo? Oh, you is low on ammo. Beautiful. Okay, let's have you march to the left there. You're low on ammo, but you still have some ammo, so it's fine. Let's have one go right there. Let's send our cannon over there. Excellent. There we go. Come on, let's get one. And join in on the charge. Hopefully he surrenders, but Chatters is also fine. No, 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 don't, don't run away. I want to capture you. I mean, that also works. Boop. Let's move you there. Are you running? No, you're not. Boop, like so. Feels a bit like they're running. Uh, are you shooting the right one? Yes, you are. Get a bit closer. Secure battery, excellent. Now let's just uh, get rid of. Oh, boy. Um. Yeah, let's get rid of these guys and then set a defensive position ASAP. Are they going for the village? Okay. Charge these guys. It looks like they are. Let's see, can we uh, set the uh, Richmond to sail? Break these bastards. Come on. Bailey just needs to be a distraction for long enough. Let's see. Let's turn our frigate. Hopefully, he can provide some uh, fire. You need to move up. You need to continue moving up. Ah. Okay, come on. We're gonna be slave, not slave runners, but like, we're gonna be hard on these bastards because they need to get, get their ASAP. not gonna be much use to be honest wait oh that's not good I 
Okay, you don't have to run anymore since we have plenty of time. You will run though. Ooh, 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 let's see. He is very close to the coast. He will prove to be easy pickings if I can get there. Okay, let's have you march there. The hell did this come from? I want to know where the hell he came from. Let's march on. Okay, let's slow down, turn around. None of those hit. Shame. The fuck? Okay, well, th that's not entirely right, but hey, it's a... Uh, it's an alpha, so... Uh, let's just quickly report that. Recommend you do that, so... Uh, Teleporting. Uh, let's see. So, enemy army teleported from the beach to the forest. Where? Uh, from the beach, where poison is, to the forest. Mm. Yes. So, if you report, it includes. A screenshot put in uh, which category it in it, it automatically takes screenshots and then you can send it it sends some data for them useful they might be able to discover what caused the bug you're reporting and even if you think ah it's an obvious thing somebody probably reported it doesn't matter always report it you can't have see it's delivered you can't have enough bug re bug reports you know And if you see me reporting a bug, that's that's why. Like I'll avoid doing it. Like if it's a bug I've already reported once before, I won't report it again. There we go. Victory is ours. We uh, got some goods. Two two ships. Hopefully they're useful. So now we go into the campaign map. You've seen the first battle, Axe and Captain. Well, you've seen it in the past, probably, if you've seen my previous videos, but you've seen it again. So, I have been promoted to captain, with command of a brig and an old sloop. I dream of staying on Richmond, but would have remained a lieutenant. Promotion is better, Promotion is better no? We are anchored in the mo mouth of the San Juan River, and are waiting. We have had no news from home, no news from Jamaica, no news at all. There is a saying, during war, no news is good news. But we need to replenish the food and run for the men. Rumors about half rations may become reality in a matter of weeks. So, there are a few things. On the left here, you have uh, some pop-ups. You can uh, go around the map. This is uh, South America, uh, Middle America, actually, my mistake. This is... Uh, I think this is Middle America? So here is uh, the mission, Dinner for Admiral. You can also find it here on the left. We'll bring you to it. You can see some cities. Some news, always good to know. Europe Herald, from Friday, March 10th, 1718. We have been informed that His Majesty's ship, Richmond, a 32-gun frigate, took action against Spanish small frigates Galga and Mercedes on February 20th while on an escort mission in the West Indies. Spanish approached Richmond silently at dawn by hiding in morning mist and were not detected until after they had closed 600 yards and discharged the volley. The Honorable Captain 
Azaria Hayes of Richmond received head, head wounds and was rendered unconscious. First Lieutenant Jenkins was swept overboard, leaving the crew in disarray. Young Lieutenant Horatio Nelson realized the severity of the situation and took command, returning fire upon the Spanish almost immediately. By his orders, Richmond took up best position and his fire became resultative. In the following action, the Spanish ships were defeated and our forces secured access to the mouth of the San Juan River, allowing His Majesty's forces to mount operations inland at the earliest opportunity. In the following action, Spanish ships were defeated, and soon after that our forces secured entrance to the San Juan River to provide pass for our main forces. And you have technology. So what do we have here? We have some iron guns, and we have some land pattern musket. That costs money and prestige, I believe it is. And here we have... Uh... Oh, that's a shame. I have 25 and I can... Oh, I can... Can I just keep it? So we have uh, five ships currently, two trophies, not in my fleet or anything. Here you have the Admiralty, where you can get officer shop, shit like that, stuff like that. Here is the research again. Here is the captain yourself. We have free career points, which we can spend wherever. I'm going to increase mission reward, and I'm also going to change the prices, but mostly mission reward. So we're going to add one of these. To the fleet. I believe the Galga is in a better state. We can only send to Admiral Admi Admiralty, but I I hope if we don't do this in the next mission, don't do it. In the next next mission, we can capture or win the mission, and with the gain winnings from that, we can. Uh, what you will call it? Get this into my fleet. So we're gonna get optional or optimal, not optional. And let's see, we are going to get Sea Service Thirty Eight musket. Costs a bit of cash, but well, not enough weapons. Yeah, every guy essentially requires one. Uh, we have some six pounders, nine pounders. Let's get a couple of uh, officers. There we go. Also, I should note, if you see a red banner here, this is a special bonus for uh, people that bought the Admiral's edition of uh, the game. So, Vasily Moiseev and Jeffrey Morris is either their real name or a name they chose. I can't remember which one it is. Probably the name they chose in case they didn't want to, you know, uh, give up their real name. But a cool little uh, thing, I say. Uh, so yeah, let's let's see. Let's get Vasily because uh, because he's a real person, and let's upgrade. Uh, let's see. If we go to the Admiralty, here we have a Cerberus class ship. I don't want to sell it. Uh, costs a lot of money though. Don't believe we would have enough money to uh, to get it. Let's see. Here we get yeah we get six out of that, so we can just wait. The Cerberus ca carries nine pounders, so and this ship also carried nine pounders, right? The Galga, uh, six pounder and nine pounders, so yeah. So yeah, also, this is uh, kind of similar to um, Ultimate uh, General in that you have multiple stages. Of course, in Ultimate Admiral you had to do a story battle of sorts instead of to get to the next stage. And here you can just press the next stage. But I recommend doing all the missions that pop up. This Each stage is a chapter, I believe. So that's how they've done it that so in the next episode 
we'll be doing a dinner for Admiral, and when we've done all the missions, we'll go to the next stage. But in the meantime, we have some leftover cash. Oh no, that costs some of that stuff. Uh, we're not gonna we're not we're not gonna do that. Some other time maybe. Because I, I really want that extra ship. Six, yeah. So we're gonna do that in the next episode. I do hope you all enjoyed this first episode. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.